Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Healthy Mom. So glad you're here with me today. It's a lazy Saturday and we're in some comfy clothes and we are meal prepping. So I have to work the next four days straight. I have a pretty long stretch. So I decided to meal prep today and bring you guys along with me. So this is a super easy meal prep and it is all under $40. I'm gonna try to do it in under 40 minutes. So let's see if I can do it. Let's go. All right guys, thanks so much for coming back. Like I said, we're meal prepping today. So this is all budget friendly, super quick. I'm gonna try to do all of this in under 40 minutes and I'm gonna link everything I bought below with the prices, but everything I purchased for this meal prep was under $40. I think the total was around 37 and some change. So three meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The dinners can be modified for your family. I'm in a calorie deficit, so these are going to be based on a low carb calorie deficit meal prepping. But if obviously your family isn't in a calorie deficit and they want a little more, I don't like making two separate things. So all these can be modified for your family. So there are gonna be three dinners for your family and then breakfast, lunch for a calorie deficit. So three meals, three days, let's do this. First thing I'm gonna do is I have some chicken breast in the crock pot. They've been cooking for a couple hours. I'm gonna shred those. And with that, I plan on making buffalo chicken salad to go over some lettuce for lunches. Shredded chicken is awesome. I love shredded chicken when I'm doing a ton of meal prepping because it can be used for so many different things. I'm also gonna be using the shredded chicken to go on top of a barbecue chicken pizza for one of the meals, which is super family friendly. Everybody loves that. Um, so shredded chicken is just awesome to have. I threw a couple breasts in the crock pot. I love Flavor God seasoning. So I use this um, honey barbecue Flavor God, a little salt and pepper. Um, on the chicken breast crock pot, they're gonna go low and slow for a couple hours. I'm gonna shred them all apart. You can also use those for chicken tacos. You can just put them on top of salads. Like it's, you can do so many things with shredded chicken. So always first thing I do when I'm meal prepping, chicken breast in the crock pot, those are cooking. Those have a little while longer. I'm gonna start prepping one of my first dinners. So I'm going to do a huge sheet pan bake, I like to call it. So this is gonna be just a cluster of a ton of veggies and then um, some protein. So what I'm doing, I'm doing a huge sheet pan, line it with some foil. I'm gonna spray it with a little coconut oil so things don't stick. I'm gonna line it with broccoli, peppers, a purple onion, and a sweet potato. I'm gonna throw those in the oven, bake them about 375, 20 minutes or so until the veggies are done. I'm gonna chop those up, get them in the oven. I also have some chicken tenders marinating right now. Use whatever marinade you have at home. And I also have some uh, sweet Italian chicken sausage. So I'm gonna throw the marinated chicken breast on the grill along with the chicken sausage. And then my sheet pan's gonna be done of my veggies. I'm gonna have a ton of veggies. And then with some cut up chicken breast, chicken sausage, perfect meal. Obviously people in your family aren't in a calorie deficit. You can cook a little brown rice or, um, yeah, brown rice is my go-to. You can cook a little brown rice throw all the veggies, chicken on top of the rice to bulk it up a little more if you're not so worried about carbs and you're not in that calorie deficit. how beautiful this is. I'm just gonna spray it with a little more coconut oil. You can use olive oil, you can use whatever you have in your house. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my everything seasoning. Just gonna season it all up. 375 to 400, about 20, 25 minutes. All right guys, so it's been about five minutes. So I cut all those veggies up, they're in the oven, so we're into the meal prep. So now that I have those veggies going, I'm going to prep my breakfast. So I do the carrot bake. I've made it before. This is not my recipe. It's Happy Healthy Haley's Carrot Bake. So it is a, it's carrots, oats, a ton of eggs, and then pretty much seasoning to your liking. Throw that in the oven and then I cut those into eight squares. And I'll put the macros of that in the description also but each uh, piece is about, I think 140 calories and very low carb, very high protein. 
and then the fat is healthy fats you have that from the egg yolks so it's a very balanced very quick breakfast i pack them in little baggies and there's eight of them i'm good for the whole week throw a little peanut butter on it and it's delicious so i love that for breakfast so we're gonna prep that now I really like this recipe because number one, it's hearty. I usually warm it up like in the microwave at work. It's great on the go. And also it's veggies. I really try when I am in a calorie deficit to get veggies with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's always my goal. Breakfast is the hardest time for me to get veggies in. Yeah, we can do smoothies, but smoothies are hard when you're following low carb because smoothies always have a lot of fruit and you want a banana in there, you want some berries in there, and it turns into a very high cal, high carb meal, which is hard. Plus it's hard when you're on the go to always make a smoothie. And when I'm on the go at work, I can't always make eggs with spinach or veggies in it either. So this is an awesome way to prep um, a couple days worth of breakfasts at once, plus get your veggies in. I am about 10 months post baby still, postpartum. It's hard for me to say postpartum when he's almost 10 months old, but that's what it is. I have gained, I gained 60 pounds with this pregnancy. I've lost about 40. I have about 20 more to go until I am happy. So still in the calorie deficit, I follow about a 70 gram carb macro a day. So this fits perfectly into that. So I'm gonna continue peeling these carrots. I have eight of them and I'm gonna throw them into the blender and I'm gonna blend them up. All right, so my carrots are blended up. I'm gonna add 12 eggs to this. Yes, a lot of eggs. It seems like a lot of eggs, but it's gonna be fine. Remember, you're cutting these into eight, so it equals out to not even um, one and a half eggs per serving. So eggs have a lot of protein, healthy fats. Don't be afraid of eggs. So I'm gonna throw 12 eggs in here, and I'm gonna throw in my oats, my spices, blend it all up, and then we're gonna bake it. And like I said earlier, this is a very budget-friendly meal prep. I am a very all natural organic type person. I wish I could buy everything as organic as possible, but we're all on budgets. I have two kids, budgets have changed. So I do not have the grocery budget I once did to buy absolutely everything organic. Love to, but that's just not real world. So what I like to do, what my rule of thumb is, not gonna work for everybody, this is what I do. I try to buy as organic as possible when I'm eating anything raw. So if I'm eating it not cooked, I try to buy it organically as far as produce goes. As far as dairy and meat, I always try to buy that organic if I can. Alright guys, so the breakfast is baking. Now I'm gonna go into another dinner. So I am going to make homemade chicken tenders. I'm going to take the rest of the chicken that I have that are tenders and I'm going to dip them in some, one egg, the rest is egg whites, and then a little breadcrumbs. You can also use chickpea breadcrumbs if you wanna be even more carb conscious. So dip them in a little egg, egg white, breadcrumb. I'm gonna put them in the air fryer and then I'm going to kind of air fry those, sky's the limit, cook them. Again, you can use them just with veggies. You can warm them up, put them in a wrap on a sandwich. Doesn't have to be a huge, you know, coating, just a little bit, just enough to give it a little crunch, a little flavor. And same with the egg. You know, I usually um, only do one egg, the rest egg whites because it's a little healthier more protein and you really just need it so the breadcrumbs stick to something. All right, so we're almost 20 minutes into this meal prep. We got our breakfast cooking. We got two of our dinners prepped. Our chicken is done. We're gonna shred that. And right now I'm gonna go light my grill so I can throw the chicken sausage and the marinated chicken on there and cook it. And I'm also gonna boil some water and I'm gonna cook a 
bag of brown rice. Then I'm also gonna cook a bunch of hard boiled eggs. Love to have hard boiled eggs on hand when I have a busy week. I eat them, throw them in my salad, my husband eats them. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back. All right, and while my water's boiling, my grill's heating up, I'm gonna make use of my time and I'm going to cut up some strawberries. So I have some uh, organic strawberries that I bought. Again, you can save probably $2 and not buy organic, just wash them really well. I'm gonna cut those up and I'm gonna put them in a container for me for work. And I'm also gonna put the rest in a container for my kids and husband and, um, at home. I usually will have a plain Greek yogurt snack midway through the day and I like to throw some cinnamon and strawberries in that. And that's my go-to snack. The one thing I've learned about meal prepping, especially when you're in a calorie deficit and you're trying to do it for weight loss, just make it simple. We have very simple, easy meals here that can be reused throughout the day. If you have to eat the same thing for breakfast, have to eat the same thing for lunch and snacks, then do it. It's completely fine. We're trying to simplify this, make it as easy as possible. All right, so when you're following a low carb lifestyle or in any type of calorie deficit, I try to stick to low carb fruits. So any type of berry is gonna be your lowest carb fruits. So your strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. So those are gonna be your go-to. Anything like bananas, apples, those are fine, they're healthy. I don't say you can't have them, but for me personally, an apple, banana, you're talking about 25, 30 grams of carbs. I would much rather have that in something else rather than waste it on an apple that, you know, it's a great snack, but it's really not gonna fill me up as much as, you know, oats will. So that's why I kind of pick and choose the carbs that I like to have. When you're in low carb deficit and you only have 70 grams to work with, you have to be really careful, so. This is probably enough for me for a couple days for work. I only do a couple, probably that many per serving in my yogurt. So that's gonna be plenty for me for a couple days at work. The rest I'm gonna cut up, keep on hand for the fam. Another tip, whatever fruit at the end of the week isn't eaten up, this is organic produce. It's expensive, I'm not gonna waste it. So if it's been a week and it's not eaten yet, I will put them in freezer bags and I'll put them in the freezer and I'll use them for smoothies. So my daughter loves smoothies, my husband loves smoothies. So whatever fruit isn't used at the week, do not throw it out, do not waste it. Put it in a freezer bag and put it in the freezer and use it another time. All right guys, so we're gonna start lunch. So I have a buffalo chicken salad I'm gonna make and I put this over lettuce with a hard boiled egg. Those are my lunches for however many days I'm at work. All right, so this is from uh, Kristen Cavallari's True Roots cookbook. I love this cookbook. It's the buffalo chicken salad recipe. I modify it a little bit. Um, I kind of do my version of it. So this is how I like it for me. You can make it however you want. It's basically um, carrots, celery, shredded chicken, little mayo, a little Greek yogurt, little lemon juice, salt, pepper, and then um, buffalo sauce. So you mix that all up and let it sit for a couple hours and it's good for about a week. And I will put that over lettuce and eat that for lunch. So we're gonna make that. All right guys, so we're at about 30 minutes. All right, so I'm going to mix up the dressing for my buffalo chicken salads. So you're gonna use about a quarter cup of mayo. I love this one, this is the one I use. And then you need about um, half to a third a cup of yogurt she uses sheep's milk yogurt i don't this is what i use i have this in the fridge like i said i use this for my snacks so i'm going to take probably about a third of this container throw it in and then you need about a teaspoon of lemon juice so i'm going to take a little of this squeeze it in and then a little salt and then you're going to put about a quarter cup of buffalo sauce in or however much you like like a little spicier use a little more i use frank red hot and i just kind of add that to taste so I'm gonna mix all that up now. Okay guys, my chicken's done. So this is two breasts. I did three of them. Uh, I came in a pack of three, so I'm gonna shred two, use it for my salad, shred the third one, and then keep it in the fridge for other things. Super fun video to do. I've been wanting to do a meal prep video for a while. You know, especially for like my nutrition clients, it's one thing to tell you guys what to prep and what to do but it's another thing to actually do it. So 
you know, this is me showing you guys, you busy moms out there, you work full time, you got two kids, you know, you can do all this in under an hour, just takes a little, you know, prep work, a little planning, it's, it's doable. So we're not even at 35 minutes yet and we're basically almost done cooking everything. So I got this chicken shredded, I'm gonna add it to the dressing along with my veggies. It's a little high fat with all the mayo and, you know, Greek yogurt and stuff. But like I said, I follow a very low carb type um, meal prep right now or macro setting. So I do have a little higher fat to work with. You can use a low fat um, yogurt. You can actually do the whole thing with Greek yogurt if you wanna skip the mayo altogether. Uh, but like I said, this is how I do it. It fits in with my macros. I do about 1400 calories a day and I only do about 65 to 70 grams of carbs. So I do probably about 50 to 60 grams of fat. And then I fill the rest in with protein. I probably do about 130 grams of protein, 140 grams. So it is really low carb. 60 grams is tough to do. And you have to remember when you do low carb, you have to do something. So you're gonna have a little higher fat. I'm not, I don't do keto. By no means is this keto. Keto is under like 50, 45 grams of carbs. So I don't do keto, but I do a very low carb lifestyle. All right guys, this is all of our stuff in the grill. We got our chicken sausages, our chicken tenders. I'm gonna cut these up and then start putting them with the rice and the mixed veggies. All right, these are our chicken tenders too that we air fried. While I'm cutting up all the meat, I'm gonna cut up these two uh, for my dinners. Okay, so I'm going to not put the buffalo chicken salad together yet just because it's going to take about an hour to set up. But this is what I love buying. It is kind of just ready to go greens. Um, absolutely love, love, love this. And it's local to our area. And remember, meal prep, easy, simple, quick. So instead of getting greens that I have to wash, dry, cut up, I'm getting this. I can just throw them in each of my lunch containers and then I'm gonna throw the buffalo chicken salad on top of it when it's ready. I just have to show you, look at our roasted veggies. Like, isn't that beautiful? That is just a beautiful platter right there that we did in literally five minutes. So I'm gonna throw all this um, dinner together too in some meal prep containers. Okay guys, so that's not cut yet because it's still hot. But this is our carrot bake. It came out beautifully. It smells awesome. I cut that into eight pieces. I have that for breakfast uh, with also a protein shake. So I put my shaker bottle there. I bring this to work. I put the powder on the bottom, some almond milk on the top, and uh, that is my breakfast. And then our strawberries we cut up. Remember I have that with some Greek yogurt for a snack. And then for lunch, we have our buffalo chicken salads here, the hard boiled eggs. And then for dinner, so we have our chicken tenders that we air fried with some sugar snap peas. Also have some extra chicken tenders for the kids. And then our sheet pan meal. So I have two servings for my husband with his brown rice, the veggies, and then the sausage and chicken. So two nights for that. And then mine does not have rice. And then I also made a plate up for my daughter. So there is kind of over three nights worth of dinners, two to three nights worth of dinners. And then that barbecue chicken pizza is gonna be our Friday night meal, our third meal. So here you have it. It is a breakfast, lunches, snacks, and dinners, enough for three days. We did it in under an hour and all under $40. So let's pat ourselves on the back and now let's go clean up our kitchen. Here's our finished barbecue chicken pizza, turned out awesome. And again, our final meal prep. Had so much fun doing this. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. As always, stay happy, healthy moms.